British airports are warning of passenger delays as security staff walk off the job today. The thousands of UK workers are now staging multiple strikes as the cost of living crisis and the lack of workers in the public sector continue to bite. And nurses, ambulance staff, highway workers, rail and postal workers, even customs officials and bus drivers are all striking this week alone. It's being referred to as the winter of discontent. Workers want pay increases to match rising prices, but that's a demand that Westminster so far isn't prepared to meet. It's the country's biggest wave of strikes in decades. Hillary Ingham is an economist at Lancaster University, and she joins me now for more. Hillary, good to have you on the show. Um, most Brits right now, or it seems like many Brits, are experiencing this sudden crunch in their real wages as prices rise. Do they have support from what you see, or do they support, I should say, what they're seeing from these striking workers because of that, because they know the pain themselves? Well, everybody is affected by this cost of living crisis. You know, it's not just the UK either. But in the UK, you know, we've got inflation and double digits, just the other side of 10 percent. And yet the pay increases people are being afforded, you know, are 5 percent or less. So on average, the nurses, I think, have got 4.75 percent. Now, in terms of what the public feel, if you actually look at the nurses strike, they are actually very supportive of them because, of course, these are a group of people that worked all the way through the pandemic. Many actually lost their lives. Um, we know mm. there are shortages, so they're overworked. And it's about two thirds of the public actually support them. That is not true for all the other groups that are walking out. Mm. Hillary, you just touched on this. Cost of living right now is a crisis, not just in the UK, but across much of Europe. To what extent is what we're seeing in the UK, though, to what extent does it have its own distinct elements that are separate from what we're seeing in Europe? Well, I mean, I think the, the overall influences are, are very similar. I mean, a lot of this inflation, it, it's sort of global. It's caused by the energy markets and everybody is suffering. But we don't seem in the UK to be able to come to some agreement between government and you know, public sector workers over what pay is actually affordable or that what the government is willing to advance. And it, it seems that, you know, particularly with the nurses, the health secretary is being quite intransient. He said he's willing to negotiate over conditions, but there's no indication that he's going to negotiate over significant pay increases. I mean, what we read in the papers today is that he might be willing to bring next year's pay increase forward. Uh, now, mm. whether that will be acceptable to the nurses' union is another matter. Critics say that recent governments have not invested enough in the healthcare system in the UK and in general in infrastructure. Do you subscribe to that view as well? Well, I think if you look at the money that's gone into the NHS, I mean, vast amounts of money have gone into the NHS, but it doesn't seem to deliver what people want. Um, even before these strikes, you know, we've had tales of waiting lists have been getting longer and longer and longer. You know, you have to wait hours and hours for an ambulance. And then sometimes ambulances are queuing for like 12 hours to actually discharge patients. I get them actually admitted into a hospital so they can go out on their next job. So I think you need to look at the overall system here. And I mean, one of the things that people have said for many, many years is that there's no actual link between health and social care. So the problem is you've got people actually blocking up hospital beds um, that could be discharged into a sort of residential setting, either going back home or in a care home. But, but that is not happening. So I think you need to look at the whole health and social mm. care package, uh, not just at one All element right. of it. Hilary Ingham at Lancaster University, thank you very much. Thank you.